the Lord. I am Reverend Richard Muchangi. I minister with the Full Gospel Churches of Kenya in Gedorai 45. I bless God for this wonderful moment of time and even for Champions TV for giving us this platform to share and communicate the word of God to you. This morning I want to read the word in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and the peace they will earn to you. I have been sharing about the benefits that we get and receive when we obey the word of God. And today I'm looking at the benefit that is called long life. I know all of us, we would wish to live many days here on earth. We use many methods, we use many uh, ways of prolonging our lives. But they have come to realize from the word of God, there is a benefit that is called long life. And that benefit is for those who on pay and love the word of God. The servant of God here is saying that when we allow the word of God, when we keep the law of God, into our heart. Verses 2, the Bible says, for length of days and long life and the peace they will add to you. Therefore, my dear friend, when you obey the word of God, when you do what the word of God is telling you to do, the word of God is very clear. It will make you to enjoy many days. It will give you peace. It will give you many blessings that you cannot count. Therefore, this morning you can decide, I will make the word of God, I will make the Bible to be my friend, and I will be obeying whatever the word of God is telling me to do, so that you may be able to live long life. There is a lot of premature death. There is a lot of untimely death. But I have come to discover when you love the word of God, when you obey the word of God, it is very clear it will give you length of days. And I believe that the word of God is very true. The Bible in the book of Psalms 138 verses 2 the Bible says, I will magnify the Lord who has exalted his word above all his name. I want to tell you child of God, when you cannot believe any other thing here on earth, you cannot fail to believe the word of God because the word of God is God himself and in God is telling you when you obey his word, when you keep his word into your heart, that word, it will prolong your days here on earth. That word, it will make you to enjoy length of days. That word, it will give you peace. And these are the things that the people are struggling. People are fighting to get. They are fighting to get peace, to get satisfaction, to get many days. That's why we are ensuring our lives. That's why we are going to hospital each and every moment. And that is very good. But there is a key here. When you obey the word of God, when you love the word of God, the word of God has power to make you to live many days here on earth. I want to challenge you this morning, uh, be a friend to the word of God. Love the word of God. Do what the word of God is telling you to do. And you are going to enjoy many days here on earth. You are going to enjoy a long life here on earth. Why? You have decided, you have purpose to obey the word of God. It will produce peace. It will produce joy. It will produce satisfaction. You are going to enjoy in whatever that you are doing. Why? You obey the word of God. And the word of God is God. God. Therefore, when you obey that word, you are obeying God himself. I want to challenge you. We need to graduate from the level of hearing the word. Many people in our days, they have access to hear the word. You hear the word light from your house. You hear the word in the church where you fellowship. You have a Bible that you can lead at your own time. But I want to tell you, it is not when you lead. It is not when you hear. The word of God in the book of Romans chapter 20, verses 13, that it is not the hearers of the law that are justified before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. Therefore, you can be justified not when you hear, but when you do the word of God. Remember the word of God in the book of James. We should not be hearers of the word only, but in doers of the word. Make a decision, purpose from today that whenever I hear the word, I will do according to the word. I will obey the word so that it may produce long life 
peace and the joy here on earth. I want to pray for you. I want to bless you. And I believe the word of God has touched you. And you have made a decision that from today's as for, I will not be just hearing the word, but I am graduating to become a doer of the word. So we pray together in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord, I pray with my dear listeners and those that are seeing me at this moment, I want to bless their lives. I want to decree in the name of the Lord that you are touching each and every one of us, not only to be healer of your word, but to become a doer of of your word. I bless them with a long life. In this spirit of premature death and timely death, I stop it right now. And I decree they are going to enjoy a long life in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you. I am Reverend Richard Mochangi, ministering with the full gospel church of Kenya, Yedurai 45. My phone number is 0721 152959. May the Lord bless you.